Ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, we have all come together to learn how to pick up baddies at an anime convention. I did this at DreamCon and I was ridiculed and destroyed and annihilated and my soul was crushed and everything about my body was put in asunder and I was annihilated. But now, now I've got my strive going now we got my guilty gear strive going and i know what's going to happen here we're going to learn how to pick up baddies today i hope you're ready i hope you're educated and i hope you're full of food and i hope you have water and i hope you have some bread next to you because we're going to learn today how to pick up baddies and this is what i've done in my entire life let's get it on and crack it questions do you have any questions i'm on youtube right now live serials.tv twitch if you want to go twitch.tv slash serials if you want to learn about who i am i stream every day monday through friday 2 p.m to 6 p.m EST. Just want to let you know that right now. Any questions you have going, I will interest your introspective and I will give you what you need. I'm here to give you what you need. The entire panel. Let's get this on and cracking. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll try my best to read that. So, what is the baddie? Literally anyone. It is not an aura, it is an appearance. You see Jotaro right there? Oh, so good. I'll get a Jotaro, yada yada. He is a baddie. That is right. You see Bing, Bing Bong, a baddie. That old man from Pixar, a baddie. I don't know this character. I really don't. I, I, I grabbed this collage from Google. I don't know this character, but she serves cunt. And I appreciate that. I respect that. I love that about this character. It's something that inside of this character that makes me feel, oh, hmm, yes, I see, yes, hmm. Something about this character gives that aura. It is an appearance. That means men can be baddies and things that have right. It doesn't matter what it is. That's what happens. So let's get that. Why did I make this panel? Why do I get to make this panel? Why do I, as a black, hot blooded, chocolate man, get to make this panel? I've heard from a lot of people, well, all of my exes are crazy are all of my exes were narcissistic a lot the only consistent factor in that is you you are the only consistent factor in that men can be baddies as well that's a very fair point men can be baddies men gay men polyamorous men anything of that variety can be baddies i'm teaching people to be more centered i want people to have a centered mindset i want them to exist in a middle ground a true singularity and that's what i want i need people to understand complimenting styles a lot of people are socially inept they don't understand how they are as people they think to themselves oh i can't talk to her oh she's so pretty oh he's so hot oh he's got muscles oh he's got good teeth oh he's got a job and i know that i'm not here to change your social ineptness i don't think i can do that that's not me but i'm here to help you i'm here to help you be a person i'm here to help you be a person now because the world at large is changing and people need to understand that their misogynistic mindset, their toxic mindset can be changed with a simple inside of their mindset that can be changed. So now then, because I'm not good looking, I want you to look at my face. I want you to look at me. I'm not the best looking guy. I'm not ugly, but I'm not like over the moon exceptional. I'm not. I really am not. That's, that's not how I operate. I'm here to help you be a person, be a man, be a woman, be a, a non-binary person. Whatever the phrase for that is, I'm here for all that. Now then, offended? Some of you, if you have mental stressors in your entire life, may be a little bit offended by some of the statements I make in here, but that is okay because I don't care. Now then, let's start. You are talking wrong. Notice how in the entire presentation that I've given so far, I've not used any nesting phrases. What is a nesting phrase, you may say? A nesting phrase is phrases like, um, like, mm, or, uh. Um, uh, um, like, um, okay, um, uh, um, it ruins your authority in a situation. And I only want to tell you this on a first impression basis. When you get a first impression, you get a first impression once. If you are late, what do you say? You don't say, oh, well, sorry for being late. No, you say, thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting is what you say. Thank you for waiting. You thank them for being able to wait a cheat code for silence is simply quite actively to do this waiting you can wait. That is what you must do. Waiting is also okay. A cheat code for silence is waiting. Don't speak first when you are not the person being waiting for. Don't speak first. It's okay to not wait. That is okay. Easy. Now then, look at yourself first. 
And why I say this is very important. If you are curious, well, they don't like me for me. They don't like what I am. That's because you have to look at yourself first. What about you? Can you change? If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Most people that say this to me, they say, oh, I change my hair. Or I change the fact that I'm anxious. That's what, those are boring. Those are very boring. I want wings. I want a horn. I want the ability to levitate. Those things you can work on. That's good. Because when someone asks you, if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? They're saying to themselves, there's something in you that I don't like. I need you to tell yourself what that thing is that I don't like. I would change my eyes into your eyes so I could see what you think about me needs changing. That's what I would change. That's what I would do. That's how I'd operate. However, that's not always what happens. Now then, going on to the next thing. How to become a better you? You always got to ask yourself what sucks about you. Let's ask the audience. So what sucks about you? What about you do you not like? What about you do you hate? What about you is disgusting and vitriolic? What about you do you think is a weak trait? What do you hate about yourself? Those are things that I need you to know. And if you have something you hate about yourself, people that are watching this on YouTube, people that are in chat that are saying that, I need you to ask yourself, why do you hate it? Why? Oh, I'm too needy. Are you or are you not having your needs met? Oh, I think I'm too mean. Are you mean? Or are you using harsh language while delivering the truth? You can't take anything seriously. You lack confidence. You lack self-control. That's okay. You can gain confidence. You can do things to gain confidence. We'll learn these things throughout the presentation. It's okay to not set boundaries. It's okay because you're scared of ridicule. And that's fine. Most people are scared of ridicule. There's deeply that. Too much of a procrastinator. Too shy. That's okay. It's okay. Mosquitoes are scared of bug spray. I'm so proud of you. Yes, it's okay be more because the only way you're going to get out in this world because the world the world deeply the world so deeply does not care about you so you have to care about yourself it doesn't care about you at all now a lot of people have a polyamorous mindset without emotional maturity you gotta see if you can handle one person and that one person could be you that one person could be one partner if you can't handle yourself don't look for another partner to try to handle that thing about you that you don't like don't do that don't look for somebody to become a person for you don't do that you can become more than yourself you can become more than what you are it's okay to become more than what you are that is how human beings operate as people i'm so proud of you you can do that very important do not speak to women like they're women do not speak to men like they're men speak to them like they're people a lot of men will say well she's a woman so i gotta no you don't he's a man so i no you don't before you are black before you are asian before you are a man before you're a woman you are a human you are a human being speak to people like they are people first that is all you have to do that is so easy it is so easy to do that let's role play we're not gonna do that here but this is the thing i do when i do this live we role play and talk to people to and fro and i check their verbiage and see how they operate and what about them they love we do that regular but i'm not gonna do that now then anyways ignoring all that nonsense carry a camera carry the camera now if you carry a camera you can obviously get all their contact information when you have that camera you can get their instagram you can get their instagram you can dm them then you can easily get in there this is a tactic works 10 times out of 10 as a matter of fact this is the best way to pick up baddies do this all the time it's a really easy thing i'm pretty sure everybody agrees with me it's super simple most karen mac uses tactics it's so easy i'm lying let's talk about manipulation you do not have to manipulate someone into liking you you don't have to do all these extra extravagant things to make someone like you you just have to be yourself you just have to be yourself because if someone doesn't like you for who you are at your core they're not for you stop trying to get people that don't compliment your style remember earlier we talked about complimenting styles yeah we're talking about this now now then the rpg boldness of clothing doesn't exist oh she'll like me if i got a rolex if i wear a cool hat if i wear cool clothes nope i met my wife in a t-shirt and shorts i think my personality shined through it was me that got the person it wasn't my clothing it was me that's what happened it doesn't exist it does not exist there's no passive bonus to wearing a rolex there's no passive bonus to wearing good clothes obviously you gotta have good hygiene and maybe even some nice clean wash clothes but nothing too extravagant. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a five thousand dollars shirt. They're not gonna like you more because of that. If they do like you more because you're wearing that. Then they're not for you. I mean this adamantly. How to approach? This is the main reason you came to this panel. This may be counterintuitive, but hear me out. You don't. We are at this anime convention. We are at these panels. We are at this lifetime. 
to just exist. We just want to be people. We just want to have fun. If I am excited about you, I will try my best to be around your aura or energy. Your aura should naturally attract people. You shouldn't have to approach somebody. The aura you exude should attract the people who most adamantly want to be your friend or want to be your lover, or want to be your partner, or want to be around you. That is what you must do. It's easy. Now then, how do I get a partner? How do I get a partner? Wrong. How do I become someone worth dating? What do you have to do? What about you is important? Oh, I have a car. Good, the bare minimum, you've reached it. Oh, I have a job. The bare minimum, you've reached it. Oh, I'm a nice guy. Great, the bare minimum. You have reached the bare minimum. I'm so proud of you for reaching the bare minimum. You have done the bare minimum. I'm so happy you've done the bare minimum. It is amazing. Oh, this derogatory part is good. Women will say this, this P-U-S-S, ha, is good. My posterior is good. Good, that is like going to a movie and saying it has a plot. You don't get to say that about yourself. You don't get to say you have a nice guy. You don't have to, you don't get to say your phallic member or your ovarian cave is good. Other people can say that about you, but you don't get to say that. You don't get to say that. Going to a con alone, you shouldn't go to a con alone. Make some friends, have some friends, set up a thing like that. That is what I do. You don't have to glorify the bare minimum. You're right, I'm. You don't have to do that. It's lackluster. It's horrible. I'm a nice guy. I deserve this. You cannot put niceness tokens. Yeah, women, I stated out that. This blank is good. I'm a nice woman. I stated that out. I'm 100%. We're not discrediting. We're not saying women don't do that. We're not saying that in any capacity. We're saying women who do this too are also evil. This is for both genders. This isn't just a centralized thing of guys. This is a centralized thing of women and men. This is both. This is a combination of both of them. Remember, you don't get to say that, by the way. Other people can say that about you, but you don't get to say that about yourself. Being nice doesn't mean anything, by the way. I want to point this out. The difference between being nice and kind is so vast to me. I'm not going to read this entire thing, but I'm going to say it like this. A nice person, in essence, will say, I don't think you're fat. When someone says, do you think I'm fat? A nice person will say that. I don't think you're fat. When the person could obviously be fat. A kind person will say, you are fat. Would you like to go to the gym? They will tell the truth. They will offer a solution. That is great to do. Now then, people are not vending machines. You cannot put niceness tokens into a woman. You cannot put niceness tokens into a man and expect a relationship out of it. That is not how people work. I really like guys who play piano. Oh, guys who play piano are so great. Then if you don't play piano, then you're probably not her type. Well, what if you discover that the guy who plays piano was abusive and narcissistic? That is okay because they valuing a certain aesthetic about a person. No one really cares about being nice. No one, no one cares about being nice. No one does, right? No one does at all. No one cares about healthy because healthy doesn't equal attractive. I'll tell you that right now, it doesn't. That sucks. I treat him or her right is a statement I hear as well. If you think your treatment of someone is more important than their personal preference, then you don't want a partner, you want a slave. If you think that your treatment of someone is more important than their personal preference, then you don't want a partner, you want a slave. Take that home with you. Put it in the bag. Put it in the cabinet. Look at it every day. Read that every day. Remember that. If you like girls who like anime, and you're dating somebody who doesn't like anime or thinks anime is weird, you messed up. If you like girls who like basketball, or will understand you like basketball and you date somebody that complains you to watch basketball, you're not getting somebody that's a compatible style. It's disgusting to do that. Don't do that. Now then, anger and patience. Listen, because of this panel, I got dragged through Twitter. I'm going to show you patience and not anger. This is the thing I posted and everybody, 240,000 people, all got so mad at me. All these quote retreats talking mess about me. Oh, it's horrible. They said, I hope someone beats his butt. Oh my goodness. Why was his head beyond fried? They messed up with me. And they made fun of my, my content. Oh, they said, oh, he's, he's making jokes. And I said, I'm trying to make like an anime villain 90% of the time. That's what I said down here. I am. I appreciate you. I want to go to his event and beat his butt. A bit excessive. I feel like a healthy discussion would be more beneficial. I don't know. I feel like a slap was a vice. That's just violent, I feel. If you ever want to talk, I'll be in the DreamCon Discord. Hopefully, I can convince not to inflict harm on me. That would be just fantastic. And he said, nah, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, if anyone goes to this, I'm going to point and laugh at you. You should actually see what the panel is about. Nah, 
Because the title of this is how to pick up baddies. They didn't want to. It's late. It's so it's late, so time for a rare threat nobody's gonna find. It's insane. They were gonna bash me. They said I didn't put anything in the description. I did put something in the description. This in, the info is on the app. They wouldn't let me do a panel without explaining the panel. They assumed I got this panel without explaining it. It's crazy. It's nuts. The crow routine is just nasty. I appreciate that. And I said it shows their true character. I'm happy. Insulting me is going to be a crux of my panel. And guess what it is? You guys are here for it. Yay, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for coming. Bro, looked like he never envisioned using chapstick in his life. Thank you for existing. I'm glad I caught your attention. I do look insanely crusty. Struggle stash, dry hair, and crunchy lips. Oh, yes. 100%. Thank you for insulting my appearance. I hope to see you there. I'm so happy. I would love for you to come. You choose to have crunchy lips, dry hair, and a look mom, ah, stash, and those pics. Those are things you can and hopefully will change about yourself before you post another picture again. Have an illuminating day. And I got ratioed. Oh, he's so great because bullying is so fun. People love bullying people online. It's the best thing to do. It's so good and it's so beneficial and it's so helpful. I'm so happy about that. They're great. My hair is still dry, my, my lips are still dry, and I still have a stain slash. I'm still glad that you are a bully and mean. I hope you make it big one day and have an outstanding success in life. I love you. Thank you for existing. I bully and am mean to misogynists, so you're right about that. I don't wish you well until you fix your sexist views on women. I want to point this out to this entire interaction. Why is he mad at me? Because of the title of the panel. Because of the title of the panel. That is it. Nothing else. He didn't read anything. He didn't look into how I was as a person. He didn't even get any information about how I was. He didn't know about what was in the context of the panel, but I described the info of the panel in the description. People don't read the description with the headline. So he was mad at me. He was so mad at me. He was so mad at me because he had an assumption based on the title alone, not doing any further deep dives, showing his true character. He doesn't like to read. And I love that. I'm so proud of him. He's amazing. Sexist. I'm sorry. I believe there's a miscommunication here. This panel is to call out misogynistic behaviors and it's for men, women, and MBs. Are you judging me from the title alone? Well, yes. Boom. And your tweets and the fact that you're clearly unqualified to do something like this. Me. Now, now I want to point this out. People know me now. People know who I am. I am unqualified. Me. I am unqualified to do a panel of this. I'm so proud of you. To say that I am unqualified. I think, and this is a little bit of a boast here, I may be one of the most qualified people to do this. I think I may be one of the most qualified people to do this. However, based on his astute observations, I said, oh, well, thank you for telling me. I hope you change your mind if you're attending on, or if you'd like to actually see the panel, I can show you on Discord. I offered to show him the actual panel. I offered to show him the entire thing. Right, I offer to show him everything. You're using dishonesty to attract pe people, folk who clearly aren't going to have the best intentions at heart while, while using massage to coax his certain folk to come. All the while, he must say while, having weird tweets directed at women. I believe what I see. I have no weird tweets directed at women at all. I don't know where he got this narrative. I believe he was mad that I made a joke with one of my friends where they insulted me and I insulted them back and we were going back and forth and then we said, see you at lunch. And they got mad at me? And I said, would you actually like to talk to me or simply sling insults at me? I'm in the Dreamcon Discord and I gave my Discord tag. If you want to see me at my panel, my friend, that's exactly what I did. And he didn't want to see me. As a matter of fact, I've still not received an apology from this person. Despite people coming to my panel and saying that it was an amazing panel. I'm so happy this person didn't do anything. I'm so happy this person did absolutely nothing to benefit anything in the conversation. He just wants to be mad and I'm happy to be an object of anger for him. I'm so happy that I can be that for him. I'm so proud of that. I'm happy to encourage that I could be a direction. People have been asking me what it is. That's a shame. This panel is actually calling out misogynistic behaviors and having people take a deep introspective look at themselves. I'm sorry you can't make it. Oh well. Well maybe don't be a creep. I hope no one sees you there. Thank you. I'm not sure what I've done but I appreciate you. Thank you for existing. I do not know what I had done. They were just bullying me and insulting my appearance. And I was being kind and nice to everyone. That's all I was doing. Being hard on the eyes and hosting this certainly is a choice. Thank you for insulting my appearance. I hope to see you there. Literally, that was the interaction. These two. 
They just read the title of the panel. That is it. That is it. And I'm so happy that I could get this anger. This got to be photoshopped. Ain't no way. I said, what part is Photoshop? My face? Me with Violet Myers? Because I hung out with Violet Myers? I'm so confused. I'm sorry. This is real life. It's just a drag on my appearance or my actual credentials. Both. Well, I'm glad the community is so kind and nice to me to install my appearance and my ability to speak. Thank you for clarifying. I'm so happy. I hope this show folks, because he for real looks like he shouldn't be giving any advice when it comes to women. Femmies. I love this. Ever, all these people. It, it was it was vitriol. It, it just keeps going on. It keeps going on. It keeps going on. To me, it's your title that's costing you big here. If you branded the panel as simply open for everybody to discuss approaching new people, or even if the target for that is men, maybe they'd off they'd be a different than a knee jerk response. This is a very nice tweet, but it is silly. The reason why I know how to market. The reason why I know how to do things. The reason why I'm actually you're actually here, people that are in the chat. It's because I know how to market something. It's because I know how to title something. It's not because of my thumbnails, because they're not good. It's because I know how to market something. It's how I know how to get people to look at me so they listen to me. The only way people were gonna show up that needed to be in the panel was if I titled the panel that way. I am not angry at any of these people. I'm not gonna insult them. I refuse. Because I'm better than them. Because I'm a narcissist. And I'm so better than all of them. And I can live knowing that I'm better than them. And that is narcissism to me. I am a narcissist, true and true, without a fault. There's no need to insult their appearance. There's no need to do that. Because they'll be working their nine to five jobs, hoping to get a smidgen of what I am, or being as nice as what I am, or as kind as what I am. And I will forever love to hope they get to that plateau and see what it's like to be here. I expect that from them. I hope they get there. I am arrogant. I am deeply arrogant. So arrogant that I don't even care about these people because they're not real. They're not. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. You're wasting your time online doing all this nonsense and I'm actually getting paid for it. Anyways, let's talk about Alpha, Sigma, Beta, and Omega. The imaginary totem pole. I hate this. The nonsense of this is goofy. They allowed the most loud and most violent people a platform. Andrew Tate, all these people, fresh and fit, disgusting, evil, narcissistic, sociopathic people. And the reason people listen to them, the only reason people listen to them is because they're loud and people are scared of themselves. They are not secure. They want a level of control, but they're scared to research and discover who they are. They are terrified to be introspective for 10 seconds. So they listen to somebody and adopt their views because they're loud and they have money and they have women around that they paid for. They're so proud of them. Oh my goodness, I want to be just like them. I want to be, if I mean to women, they'll love me. That's not true. This imaginary, using the Greek letters, the theta, beta, alpha, sigma, omega, all this nonsense, using all this garbage is ruinous to your mind and your soul. All right, now hygiene is key. Seriously, you guys think in anime conventions. I hate this so deeply. Every time I see somebody that's musty at anime convention, it grosses me out. I'm serious. I hate it, and I don't want to be a part of it. You stink. Got B.O., get D.O. Please, use D.O. Use D.O. or use toothpaste. I can't change your mental in one short video or one panel. I can't do that. That's not how I operate. But what you can do, what you can do, so simple so easily is this they are also the protagonists the world is bigger than you the world is much bigger than you understand that you cannot be in your little bubble and expect everybody to have the same mindset as you people are not gonna like pineapple and pizza people are gonna like green olives it's okay the world is deeply much bigger than you learning how to compliment when you learn how to compliment somebody you have to stop looking at them don't look at them to compliment them. Compliment them on something they have control over. People are much more receptive to anything they have control over. If you compliment somebody on their hair, if they've done it themselves, they'll be happy. Women on their eyebrows. Women love eyebrow compliments. It's their favorite thing. It's so nice. Their outfits are great. Men, same thing. Things we have control over. Do that. Things we simply have control over. It's so, 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 so nice. When you compliment something that is not inherent. Hey, you're pretty. Yeah, that's why you're over here. Of course, she knows she's pretty. Obviously, that's why you're talking to her. Let's take something else. Your chests are huge. Oh, easy. Really? It's, yeah, I, I know that. Your butt is amazing. Oh, you, you thought you had to say that? That's amazing. Okay, cool. Amazing. Anyways, 
Adopt an androgynous mindset. Behind me is Prince. You can't see him. I don't, I don't care about that. The most grounded and stable people have a masculine and feminine view of life. A true middle. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about being bon non-binary. I'm not saying you have to be non-binary. That's goofy. That's psychotic. Nuts. I'm saying that to understand the mindset of why you need to do your nails not with nail polish but get them done you have dirt under your nails why you need to wipe your butt why you need to take better care of them yourself why you need to actually do it yourself sometimes and not rely on other people that's masculine why you need to actively care about yourself that's feminine mental health and mental introspection being immensely mature and physically mature all these aspects all these things are a true middle understanding both sides is the best way to be that's how you operate be interesting let me explain. I'm going to describe me getting toast. It's easy. I woke up and I got some toast. Boring. I woke up and I approached the toaster with bread and I put toast in it. Boring. Sucks. Easy. I arose from my slumber and as I, with a Gregorian chant, yawned, I looked to the door. I noticed that my doorknob was missing. Well, that's because I live in poverty. I live in destitute, in despair. I'm broke. But what I can eat is some bread, because that's all I got in the kitchen. So I approach my cupboard and notice that the bread is molded over. I pick off the mold knowing that it's not a smart idea to do that, and I proceed to eat the bread because I'm broke. Boom. I added context. 100%. That's how you operate. Good job, Aiden. Those are good compliments right there. Easy. 100%. That's how you operate. Super simple, super fast. That's how you operate. Now then, learn a skill or something fun. Like be funny, be non-offensive, be patient, be kind, like anything, be respectful. It's so easy. Stop falling in love with the idea of them. They are people and not concepts. If they don't share your same values, they don't share what you are. If they're following six billion people that you don't like, if they're friends with people you hate, if they do all these things that you don't like, you can't change the core of a person. Stop doing that, please. There are people, not concepts. You don't even know them yet. You're already falling in love with them based on their physical appearance. What's wrong with you? That's childish, and that's what idiots do. Please don't be that. Work out. I want you to look at my body. I want you to really look at it. See my arms? See this? Look at this. Nothing. I'm not that strong. I don't have good arms. That, that, that Not deeply. No, I don't. I'm not saying to work out to lose weight. I'm not saying work out to gain muscle. I'm saying when you work out, you gain consistency. Work out for consistency, right? When you work out, you're gonna get tired. You're gonna need more energy. So you're gonna wanna eat breakfast. You're gonna wanna eat high energy foods, oatmeal, things of that variety. You're gonna actually eat foods that get you more energy. You're probably wanna cut out alcohol because you're gonna notice you drink more alcohol. It's gonna mess you up when you're at the gym. So you're gonna have to wash your sheets because you're at the gym. And then you're gonna learn how to do your laundry because you gotta wash your sheets. And then you wash your sheets. You're gonna actually have three consistent things breakfast, washing your clothes, and the gym. Then you're gonna foster community at the gym. That's so easy, so simple, so nice, so good to do. Thank you for saying your mind. I appreciate that. Now, if you're ugly, that's okay. Because if you're ugly, if you're ugly, you got to be funny. If you're ugly and you're funny, you can make people laugh. You make people laugh, they don't look at you, boom. Now, they close their eyes when they laugh. They don't got to look at you. So if you're funny, it's okay. And it's okay because I'm ugly too, right? <laughs> it's okay, I'm ugly. Because everybody on Twitter prior said I was ugly, right? You guys all said I was ugly. So simple, so nice, so easy. Anyways, con etiquette and parties, obviously cosplay is not consent yada yada we already know that it's on the back of your badges we know that we know that my goal is to make you a better person you guys on twitter insulted me a lot thank you i appreciate that i used you and things of that nature i just want to understand i just want to understand why you said that you guys just want to be bullies and that's fine you guys think that assaulting somebody's appearance is a complete drag and you win the argument by make calling them ugly calling someone ugly is not the drag you think it is it's just mean. It doesn't do anything. Let's lay down a brass tacks. Let's summarize. You got them. Understand that your intentions versus actions matter. I'm going to explain what this means. So listen up very simply. If I clean the room, if I clean my partner's room, right? If I clean someone's room and I misplace all their items, my intention was to clean the room. My actions ruined that, right? My actions ruined that. 
Oh, that sucks. I hate it. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, that's horrible. I hate that so much. Well, guess what? Your intention was good, but your actions were bad. If you are looking only at your intentions and not other people's intentions while you do things, that's horrible. You should understand people's intentions as well. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's what that means. It's so nice. Now then, we don't need DPS. What does that mean? We don't need DPS because so many people want to be the main show, the, the main event. And you guys are the main event. Anybody that is the main event, you're so I'm so proud of you. You guys are the main event. You watching this through your screen, you're the main event. I'm not. I'm the Dazzle Deluxe. I'm the confetti. I am the fire, pyrotechnics, the lighting. I'm everything that makes you more amazing. That's all my goal in life is. I'm the perfect right-hand man. That's all I want to be. I don't want to be anything else besides the perfect right-hand man. That's all I crave to be. That's all I want. I don't want to be the main event, but I have to be the main event to be the perfect right-hand man. So I'm going to build up everybody around me. We don't need anybody that plays DPS. We need support. We need bards. We need healers. Healer, please. Now then. Anybody could ask me any specifics you want down in the comment section below because that's basically the end of my panel. Probably curious who I'd be. I'm everywhere. I'm on Twitch. I'm on things. I'm Cyril's TV. No longer Cyril's Whaley. I'm Cyril's TV. Don't ignore that. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. This is where I was when I did the panel. I was at 4,000 subscribers when I did this panel. Now I'm at 26,000. I'm so proud of everybody. Thank you for being here. I am everywhere. I am all things. You can be whatever you want. And that is how to pick up baddies at an anime convention. And that is how to be a better person. Thank you.